Welcome to the Ryan Pineda Show, where our mission is to invest. I only expect to make money in things that I understand. Innovate. It's about believing in the future and thinking that the future will be better than the past. And inspire. I am much more likely to hit my goal just due to putting it out there. You're now rocking with the best. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Ryan Pineda Show. Today, we are going to be talking about a very sensitive topic that I see come up a lot, but not many people are willing to discuss, and that is anxiety. So I think everyone goes through some form of anxiety, um, whether they like to admit it or not. And a lot of people have asked me about my experience with it because, you know, I've got a lot going on. And um, like, do you experience that? Like what? It seems like you don't, you know? And I mean, I think you guys got to remember as far as it goes on camera, a lot of times you're putting your best foot forward, right? You're always just showing your best to you. And so I think it's, it's important to get transparent and talk about, um, you know, some different struggles that even I go through, um, just my experience. But I also want to give you guys some tips that I've, I've learned to deal with it, you know? So we're, we're going to really break this up into three parts. Um, my experience, as I said, we're going to talk about why it happens, and then we're going to talk about how to fix it. So before we get into that, though, I got to remind you guys, um, this is the last chance to be a part of the giveaway. So we are going to be giving away uh, thousands of dollars. We are going to be giving away courses. We are going to be giving away merch. And it's super easy to qualify for the giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe on my YouTube channel to The Ryan Pineda Show. Um, It's my second channel, not my first one. Secondly, you have to go subscribe on Apple Podcast. Make sure you leave a review as well. And once you've done all that, go to ryanpineda.com slash giveaway and go submit your information, um, just the proof that you did it. Once you have the proof, we are then going to pick the winners. So this is the last episode that I'm going to talk about that giveaway because uh, we're picking winners after this episode. So back to anxiety. I'm going to just tell you guys a little bit about mine. Um, People ask me a lot. They're like, Ryan, you have all of these businesses going on. Like, does that overwhelm you? How do you deal with it? Are you anxious? Um, They'll also say, Ryan, you know, (laughs) how do you deal with all those loans, the hard money loans, all the debt on those properties? How do you deal with all the employee salaries and the overhead of running your operation. And, uh, you know, the, those are some examples of things that would normally stress people out, right? Stress, anxiety, they're kind of the same thing. Um, so those, those are all things that we talk about. I can tell you, we have six figures in overhead every month. It might be multiple six figures at this point. Um, I guess ignoring it kind of helps. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that could cause me stress. Um that could cause me anxiety and make me anxious, all those things. Um, But I'll tell you, I've naturally been a risk taker my whole life. You know, I'm not one to want to play it safe. And one thing I've realized is the people who are more wanting to play it safe are the ones who have more anxiety. You know, the risk takers kind of (laughs) like, they might be willing to take these risks because they're like missing something in their uh, genetic makeup. I don't know. But um, I've always been a risk taker. If, if you guys know my story and you watched the first episode of the podcast, I um, talked about how I had to max out all my credit cards in order for me to, you know, buy my first house flip. You know, I, I'd saved up $10,000, which was a huge accomplishment. And then I maxed out my credit cards for $50,000. And that, that was scary. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you that I didn't feel stress or anxiety beyond that. But, uh, you know, it, it, it was just part of my experience of trying to figure out these businesses. You know, I've gone through scenarios where I didn't know if I was going to make payroll, you know, because I mistracked my cash flow. Like there's, there are those moments where you really, you know, feel it and you have a choice, you know, you can let it eat you up and uh, cause you downward spiral or you can embrace it and you can figure out how to solve the issue that is causing you this anxiety or stress and defeat it. And, um, you know, we're going to talk about how to fix it here in a second, but, uh, I'll just say that in business, 
I have felt less anxiety than I have when I was playing baseball. Baseball caused me the most anxiety in my entire life. Um, way more than business ever has because I think I cared about it so much and I wanted to do well in every game and I didn't want to let people down. You know, I, uh, was, would be playing in front of thousands of fans and I knew people were watching me and I would get very nervous um, despite having success and, you know, going pretty far. I would get nervous every game before every game. Like I would have this, my nerves. And I just remember like I would struggle on defense, especially with throwing because of nerves and anxiety. Um, they, they call it uh, the Chuck Knobloch disease or the, uh, I forget the other guy who first got it, but the yips, right? I've had several bouts with the yips, you know, and that just strictly comes from anxiety. You know, you like are just scared. And, um, I've, I've had times in the dugout where I had to really like calm myself down and like, just tell myself, dude, you know, you can do this. You got this. You don't have to feel this way. Um, I've gone through all that stuff. I've gone through wanting to quit you know, having terrible games and being like, you know what? I don't even know why I put myself through this anymore. Like I'm quitting. And I've had games where, you know, I strike out four times and, you know, I'm going back home and I'm like, dude, am I even going to have a job tomorrow? Like, am I going to get released? What's going to happen? Am I going to play tomorrow? And it's just all of these things, um, you know, just cause anxiety. And so I just want you guys to know first and foremost with my experience, um, I've gone through it. Uh, and it was a lot worse when I was playing baseball. And so I feel a lot less stress and anxiety now, um, in what I'm doing. Here's a quick word from our sponsors. Are you looking to grow your real estate investing business? My company future flipper can help. We've taught hundreds of people all over the country, how to flip wholesale and buy rental properties. And it doesn't matter where you're at in your investing journey, whether you're trying to get your first deal or scale your company, Future Flipper can help. We have courses, coaching, and events for all levels of investors. So if you want to take the next step, go to futureflipper.com and book a free consultation to see how we can best help you. Once again, that's futureflipper.com. Are you looking to find off-market real estate deals? One of the best tools my team uses is Batch Leads. With Batch Leads, you're able to pull data, manage lists, and send text messages. On top of that, you can get nationwide access to the MLS to get pictures and comps. My team has used Batch Leads to get some of our best deals, so I know it works. You wanna start today? You can get half off your first month by going to batchleads.io and using the promo code Ryan. Once again, that's batchleads.io, promo code Ryan for half off your first month. One of the hardest parts about real estate investing is finding a good contractor. That's where Southwestern Custom Construction comes in. They've been doing remodels in Nevada and Arizona since 2006. As a fully licensed and bonded general contractor, they're able to help with any type of renovation, all the way from an entry-level fixer-upper to a custom luxury home. Southwestern Custom Construction specializes in working with investors. I've personally used them on many of my projects, so I know their team is legit. If you want to get a bid on a project, head over to customhomenow.com. Once again, that's customhomenow.com. Now, back to the show. So, that's my experience. I kind of want to talk about why it happens. And first and foremost, I think you guys all know, I am not a psychologist. So, (laughs) if, if you're a psychologist and you're watching this and you're like, bro, that is totally not what anxiety is. Well, you're probably right, but I'm going to give you my definition of what it is and why it happens. Um, But for me anyways, anxiety happens because you're worrying about things that haven't happened yet. So let me repeat that because it's kind of confusing. You You get anxiety and stress when you worry. And why do we worry? We worry about things that really haven't even happened yet. You're dreading making that call. You're dreading knowing or, you know, not knowing what's going to happen, right? Like the uncertainty of the future causes so much stress and anxiety for most people. And when you actually break it down, you think about it. You're like, I'm worrying about things that haven't even happened. Like that's causing me anxiety and stress. Like something that is not even here yet. 
It's not like I made this big mistake or something or that like I just lost my home or, you know, I got foreclosed or I went bankrupt. Like, no, you're worried about the thought of going bankrupt. That hasn't even happened yet. Like, how dumb is that? That we worry about these things that haven't even happened. So, you know, I think at the end of the day, it's usually future focused where anxiety comes from, thinking about the future. Um, and obviously you're thinking that your future isn't too bright if, if you're having that. And so I think that the biggest thing of why it happens is a lack of faith or a lack of belief. Because you, you do not believe in yourself for whatever reason. You don't believe in your future. You don't believe in your circumstance. And you don't have the faith that you can change it. You know, that, that's what happens. And I'll tell you, like, the best people who beat anxiety and stress, it's because they get a problem. We all have problems. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you've done. You're going to have problems, and uh, you're going to continue to have problems. And so, you know, the people who know how to deal with anxiety, it's because they have faith they can solve the problem. They have faith that, oh, you know what? I've been through this before. Yeah, it sucks, but... I already know how to get out of it. I have faith. And that has been, you know, my my reason anyways that I haven't had as much in my business career, my YouTube career, whatever. Like, um, I have faith that any problem that comes my way, I can solve it at this point. And it's kind of like this uh, self-reinforcing deal where, you know, when you, once you've solved your problems many times over and over again, you believe that you can continue to do it. It just keeps... The, you know, this positive feedback loop. And um, maybe you're at the point where you don't have that yet, right? Like problems are something that you're not good at solving. Well, you know, you're going to have to really start making yourself believe that you can solve them and um, that you do trust in yourself and, um, you know, that you do have faith that things are going to be better in the future, okay? And um, that's kind of what I want to talk about is like this – third part of this uh, show, you know, how do you fix it? How do you develop, you know, the faith that everything's going to be all right, that, uh, you know, you can beat whatever issue you're facing, you know, and that you can gain the confidence and the belief. And, you know, for me anyways, as many of you probably know on this podcast, like I'm, I'm a Christian. And so my faith in God comforts me more than anything, with the unknown future. I mean, at the end of the day, we none of us are guaranteed tomorrow, okay? And so I understand that, you know, this time on earth is very limited one way or the other, whether it's taken tomorrow or whether it's taken 10 years from now. That's limited in the span of eternity, very small. And so when I think of it in that way, it's like, oh, man, like, why am I worried about, like, <laughs> you know, this thing next week, like, Eternity is really what matters. And I know a lot of you guys watching this may not be, uh, you know, you might not believe in God or, you know, anything like that. And, and one thing I'll say is that, you know, at that point, if you don't, well, you're going to have to really believe in you <laughs> to the extreme because you're believing that you're the only one who can save you and, and uh, you know, get you out of this situation. But, uh you know, I just want to share a couple of verses with you guys uh, that, you know, the Bible has that comforts me when it relates to anxiety. And one of those is Philippians 4, um, verses 6 through 7. I'll just read it to you real quick. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding— will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And so for me, I mean, it, the verse is very specific. Do not be anxious about anything, okay? Pray, present your request to God, and God will guard you. And to me, it's like, it's very obvious. Like, okay, if I'm feeling any type of anxiety or stress, I should pray about it. And I'll tell you what, as a believer, that comforts me when I start to feel that way. And I'm sure many of you who are Christians as well believe that um, and have gone through that. But, uh, you know, that's one thing that, for me, brings me comfort. 
But I'll share with you one more verse. It's uh, Matthew 6, 25 through 27, and then um, also 34. And this one's kind of really hits home. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Today has enough trouble of its own. And there's a ton to unpack there, but I encourage you guys to go look up that verse and really chew on it. But uh, it's just like, do not worry about your life. Like, look at the birds of the air. The birds are not worried about what they're going to eat tomorrow. Like, have you ever seen a worried bird or a bird with anxiety? Like, that's, it's showing how ridiculous it is. Like, they just somehow always find food. And I can just tell you with my life, I didn't, like, I usually never have the answer of how something's going to happen. It just does happen. And that's just like I said before, it just creates this positive feedback loop and this like reoccurring faith, um, not just in myself, but in God. And so I know if God's going to provide for me and get me out of the situation, then, you know, why should I be anxious? He's done it before. This is not the first time that I've had a problem and felt this way. And it's not going to be the last time. So, you know, th- those verses comfort me. And as I said before, I know a lot of you guys who, uh, th- th- this, uh, you know, podcast is not meant to be a sermon, right? You know, I'm not here to try and convert anybody or anything like that. Um, but what I'll say is, I mean, that's what I believe. And uh, you guys can take it for what it's worth. And um, that's what helps me with anxiety. Like, I know a lot of doctors want to prescribe meds. Um, I know there's people who say you got to eat certain foods. They help you with your anxiety and your stress. I know there's people say you should meditate and, uh, you know, all this stuff. I mean, that may work for some people. You know, if that works for you, great. I mean, that solves your anxiety problem, but there's still, you know, other issues as well. But, uh, you know, you, you do got to find what works for you. I, I Obviously, I wouldn't recommend the meds, but... Uh, <laughs> If you find a routine that gets rid of your anxiety, like meditation or whatever, uh, go ahead. Like, that's awesome, man, uh, or woman, whoever's listening to this. But, uh, you know, figure out what works for you. And all I can do is share with you what works for me. I don't take meds. I don't have, uh, you know, it's like I'm not taking CBD to get rid of the stress or anything like that. Like, it's literally what I just told you. If I, if I start feeling stress, I start praying. And that that's my comfort. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, I think anxiety just comes down to a problem of faith, whether it be in God, whether it be in yourself or your uncertain future, you know, you lack faith for what's about to come. And, uh, maybe psychologists disagree with me, but, uh, you know, that, that's what I think causes anxiety. And, uh, it's the worry of things that, just, you know, haven't even happened yet. It's really dumb to think about that we're worrying about things that haven't even happened. Like we got enough, as the Bible verse said, we got enough problems to each day has enough problems of its own. Like today has problems and you got to solve those. Why add extra problems that haven't happened yet? So, um, you know, I just really hope that, you know, this, this episode encourages you to, uh, think about how to deal with anxiety in a different way. Um, yeah, I hope it encourages you to, to see that everyone deals with it. I deal with it even still. And, um, you know, that's just how I handle it. And, you know, my hope is that uh, you guys can figure out how to handle it for yourselves too. And, uh, you know, I, I, I do think God is the answer. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, everyone's going to have to make that decision and uh, figure out what's going to combat the anxiety for them. But anyways... That was a great episode. Um, You know, being vulnerable is not easy, but hopefully you guys got value from it. Um, As I said, we're doing the giveaway. Today is the last day, so go check it out. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Leave a review. Then go to ryanpineda.com slash giveaway and um, submit the, the proof that you did that. And other than that, 
Looking forward to another episode and uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching the Ryan Pineda Show. If you want to work with me, head over to ryanpineda.com. You can find my courses, coaching programs, and upcoming events. We also have free resources you can download, so head over to ryanpineda.com.